The following contains elements of horror that may be too intense for some. Viewer discretion is advised. Let's embark on a journey to find the most disturbing and haunted sites that dot the United States. This time, we'll start in Alabama. Athens State College in Athens. The story goes that during an attack in the Civil War, a beautiful woman, trying to escape, jumped out of her room's window, which was on the top floor. On her way down, she hit an open window, leaving a gory scene on which is now the college building. Students state that every Monday at 9 in the morning, the scene is visible for all onlookers to witness. The Old Public Library in Bay Minette. The town public library wasn't always as such. In the early 1900s, the place was home to the city hall as well as the morgue. The library's patrons now claim to see faces of those who long passed in the windows of the building, as well as ghostly spectres appearing and disappearing throughout. Highway 82, north of Pratt Road. This nation holds many tales of sites being cursed by ancient burial grounds, and this highway is no different. The highway was constructed against better judgment over a Native American burial ground, and since then has been home to the most wrecks caused on the interstate. Fort Crawford Cemetery, East Bruton Many who visited the cemetery late at night have claimed to hear soft laughing of children, accompanied by a figure dressed in all black roaming the site. Others have claimed to have seen a spectral man dressed in confederate garb walking, and if spotted, he will ask, Have you seen my rifle? The Rawls Motel in Enterprise This site was once home to a murder. A woman had been pushed over a railing by her lover, and upon falling, she passed immediately. Both employees and patrons claim that upon standing near the railing, a sensation of being pushed is felt, along with the scent of cigar smoke, which the woman's lover was known to smoke. The University of North Alabama in Florence. This site is home to many hauntings. One such incident is in the Gallo University Center, where tales tell of a girl who hung herself off an elevator shaft. The building's security have stated they have heard swaying noises, as if a body was dangling from rope. Yet upon investigation, no source has been determined. Another story tells of the North Auditorium which is said to be haunted by a ghost of a construction worker who fell off a scaffold while building. He is said to be seen walking on what used to be the scaffolding, as well as seen doing other maintenance work. Lastly, we have the Children's Cemetery in Gallant. This may be a little hard to bear for many, because the ghosts of children are seen in the cemetery playing. Many of these children are younger, and the thought of it, more than the haunting itself, is disturbing. We hope you enjoyed this tale, and be sure to come in next time when we go to another state and see other hauntings. Farewell.